Today I'd like to talk about your friends and mine, McDonald's, and their latest attempt at value, uh, the McValue system, which is not even really a menu, but they're calling it uh, they're calling it the McValue platform, which is going to be launching next year. And uh, let's just get into this, starting with the reason why I'm making this uh, video in the first place, which is. The Today Show, um, you know, a place where a lot of, let's say, older moms get their news. Uh, with this article, McDonald's, I'm sorry, my camera's kind of covering it. There we go. McDonald's is bringing back $1 items as part of its new 2025 value menu. The new menu includes $1 items and BOGO deals. It does not, okay? This is straight up the most disingenuous headline imaginable um and the best possible spin that today could put on um the mcdonald's mcvalue menu whatever um and all basically every single news story you read about this is going to spin it this way uh or in a positive way but this mcvalue menu um if we look at the actual press release here mcdonald's mcvalue platform is pretty much the same as it is right now, and in fact, possibly worse depending on where you live. Uh, so here's the picture. They're going to keep the $5 meal deal, which, okay, I guess. I mean, I understand that people like it, but the thing about the $5 meal deal is, and the thing about their new buy one, add one for a dollar option is that all these items were a dollar not that long ago. Uh, like if you look at this image right here, this McValue image, uh, if you're, you know, older than like, I don't know, a teenager, if you're above the age of like 13 or 14, you probably remember a time when every single one of these items was a dollar um, and was on the dollar menu and then was on the value menu and then was on the one, two, three menu, which became the... Th two three menu which became the three dollar menu which became the no value menu uh so instead see this is the problem with that mcdonald's is facing is like taco bell uh when they wanted to revamp value right uh they redid their menu and introduced newer items uh that's why they get rid of old things people like like the mini quesadillas and things like that and they replace them with smaller, cheaper to make items and then have a new value menu. That's why they have the new $3 and under menu at Taco Bell. Um, and they don't bring back favorites because those things cost more money. Uh, the easiest way to save money, the quickest and fastest uh, way to save money on a value menu uh, is to redo the items to make the cost lower so that you don't have to charge more. Uh, but Taco Bell, of course, in the process also charged more uh, which is the problem lately with a lot of companies is that they're pulling that move and then charging more on top of it. Uh, the problem with McDonald's, though, they're in a kind of unique position in that their stuff is already tiny and they can't really shrink it at all. Uh, like a double cheeseburger is already incredibly small. Uh, there's not much there. A McChicken is already very small. Uh, they already sell four-piece nuggets. Uh, a small fry is already tiny. Um, the biscuits and, and McMuffins, they're already so small. Uh, the meat patties are already like under two ounces, right? So they can't really do much to shrink it anymore. They've already gone down that route. So what can they do? They don't want to straight up lower the price. That's the last thing they'll ever do. Uh, so that's why they have the McValue platform, which is not a good value for anybody. Um, Again, <clears throat> all these items were a dollar. And again, like here, today menu says bringing back $1 items. It's not. There's not a single way to get an item for a dollar without buying something else in return. It's buy one, add one for a dollar. That's it. There is no dollar menu. The dollar menu is not back. We have local deals here. Any size soft drink for $149. That's not a good deal. There were any size soft drink for a dollar for literally years. Um, and that's, you know not really an inflation thing that's just them being assholes um, and trying to make more money off drinks which is where a large margin is which is why i say never buy your soft drinks uh at uh, any fast food place unless you know it's part of a deal because that's where their profit margins are and that's where you're wasting the most money so 
that's part of the reason why the meal deals are being pushed so hard by these companies as an alternative to a dollar menu is because they can throw in the higher margin items like fries and soda uh, to ensure that they're making good margins on the $5 meal deal, right? Uh, they know that they're going to make, I don't know exactly how much, I'm not a franchisee, uh, but uh, they're making a decent profit on the $5 meal deal regardless uh, of whether you choose the McChicken or the McDouble because four nuggets, a uh, small fry, and a, and a small drink is not that much money, essentially. So that's why they're doing these $5 meal deals because instead of, let's say, selling four McNuggets for a dollar, and let's say it costs them 60 cents, right? And then they make 40 cents when they sell their McNuggets on a dollar menu. Uh, or they can combine all these things and sell a $5 meal deal and have it be three twenty-five is the cost to them and they make $1.75. You know what I'm saying? The meal deal is a way to keep up the average ticket cost, essentially, to keep up people spending more money by not being able to pick a la carte items at a cheaper price. Um, which sucks. It locks you into choices which you might not even want, uh, which is especially annoying on the $5 meal deal. It's especially annoying when you read the press releases. And I don't want to make this video too long, um, but I do want to get mad at McDonald's really fast. Okay, so the last thing, besides the fact that you have buy one, get one for a dollar on McChickens, double cheeseburgers, and freaking six piece. Uh, nugget and a small fry which is a terrible you know value in general that's not really a good deal and it's already a deal in a lot of places and in fact a lot of people are already complaining that this is worse than the deals they already have where they can buy one get one free usually um buy one get one for a dollar is just bs nobody likes that Every, bogo everybody likes b-o-g-o -O. nobody likes b-o-a-o-f-1 or whatever <clears throat> local deals, so that's going to be whatever people want to put on the app, which means that there's going to be jack shit there probably. And then occasionally they'll do these nationwide deals like the dollar ten piece chicken nugget, which I recommend you take advantage of and only take advantage of by going getting a, a dollar ten piece chicken nugget and nothing else and uh, moving on with your day because that actually does cost your McDonald's a little bit um, and fuck them. So. Anyways, let's read it. Uh, this is why I got mad. Uh, besides the fact that the Today Show wrote this article, wrote this glaze piece about dollar items which don't exist. Uh, Joseph Lamour, Washington, D.C. native, blah, blah, blah. You should be ashamed. Everybody, every news story writer, every outlet should be ashamed by these things. But they're not because this is just the way that fast food reporting works. It's a press release uh, regurgitator. There's no actual news. There's no actual like reporting. There's no critical analysis of any of these things. That's why somebody who has no idea what they're talking about, doesn't even probably eat fast food, posts an article uh, with the completely invalid headline that is purposely misleading. Uh, anyways, let's go on to McDonald's. This is their... <sighs> their statement, when it comes to value, we know there's no one-size-fits-all. We worked closely with our franchisees to create a new platform that will let our customers define value on their, uh, define value on their own terms, said Joe Erlinger, president of McDonald's USA. From deals on their personal go-to order to universal favorites like the $5 meal deal, we're more excited... Uh, we're excited to give fans more ways to save every time they visit one of our restaurants, which is essentially them saying, please come back, poor people. We know we've been fucking you over, but here's the worst possible bone we can throw you. Here's a trick. Basically, that's that's what makes it so annoying is that it's not an actual deal. Like if they wanted to get people broke people to come back, maybe they should put out like an actual deal um, instead of this insulting offer of buy one, get one for a dollar. So now I'd like to read from a McDonald's franchisee. As a local small business owner, my fellow franchisees and I are always listening to what our customers want from their neighborhood McDonald's, said Corey Watson, McDonald's owner operator and national value chair for 2025. 
No matter the city or the state, they're telling us how important it is for them to find their favorite meals at affordable prices, and we couldn't agree more. That's why we're committed to continuing to serve up great local deals from special discount pricing on fan favorite a la carte items, which, again, there is none of that. They're just like kind of throwing it under local deals and saying there will be things like that, but there are no really fan favorite a la carte deals. There's a buy one, get one for another dollar, um, but that's not really a good deal. <clears throat> great prices on iced coffee, soft drinks, cheeseburgers, chicken McNuggets, and more. We have a great value for everyone, whether you're a party of one or feeding the whole family. No, you don't. Uh, anyway, so get ready for the new year come January 7th. Absolutely almost zero things will change. Um, in fact, they may actually get worse. All this stuff is exactly the same, uh, except for the buy one, add one for a dollar, which is kind of you know, shitty anyways, um, because you have a double cheeseburger on here, which at my local McDonald's costs $2.99, so $3. So essentially it's $4 for two, which is still not great. Uh, they should be cheaper than that. Um, and I shouldn't have to buy two to get a deal. So yeah, uh, that's McDonald's there. Here's a little bit of business going into why they added this deal. Um, I'm sorry, this one going into why they added this deal and in terms of their traffic um, and i wanted to end this video on perhaps the most infuriating statement um out of touch uh crazy statement you'll ever read from a financial person uh <clears throat> this is a quote from restaurant expert kevin hart chief sales operator uh chief sales officer for few food and fuel app upside, uh, which I've never heard of, so good job. <clears throat> Value menus can drive traffic, but they often fail to create sustainable growth. Continuing to cannibalize existing customers by getting them to pay five dollars for what used to cost twelve is a failing strategy. The answer to foot traffic can't be to lose money on every sale. Um, and I really shouldn't even have to explain how on its face this is just a false statement because nobody's paying $5 for what used to cost $12. we are actually paying $5 for what used to cost less than $5. Um, that's, that's what happens uh, if you actually look at it uh, from an objective point of view. And I don't even know where $12 comes from. Where did he pull $12 from? Uh, if if you sum up the five dollar meal, even if you wanted to a la carte those at the most expensive prices, you couldn't get the twelve dollars uh, today, which is not a good thing. But it's just a number that doesn't make sense. Nobody is paying five dollars when they used to pay twelve. They are trying to pay less, um, but as a business, you do have to adapt to that. Um, you're not going to lose money on every sale if you price the items right and encourage people to buy more. Um, instead of trying to kind of pigeonhole them into having a value menu uh, specifically with items that only value customers should have and then having the rest of the menu for everybody else. I, I don't think your the winning strategy is going to be to continue to uh, funnel lower income people into shittier food uh, and trying to charge more for it. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, shout out again to Kevin Hart, completely out of touch. Um, Chief sales officer for Food and Fuel App Upside. Again, don't know what the fuck Upside does, um, but I hope that it doesn't have anything to do with food and fuel prices. And I'll see you all next time.